going on everybody? Eric Barassa here with part one of EJ Mini Lesson 05. Sorry it took me so long to get this going. I have the full three and a half minutes transcribed every single note that he played. But I'm going to be dividing this lesson up into three different lessons. Why am I going to be doing that? Number one, because I got a little overwhelmed when I saw the five and a half pages that um, or I was gonna have to include into a video. This was gonna be like a 40 minute video. Um, and number two, I don't want to overwhelm people with content because what I have found in my 12 years of teaching uh, music is that when you give a student too much information, they do nothing with it. So I would rather give you these five first ideas that Eric Johnson is using so you can pick one or two of them to begin digesting uh, and, and really make a part of your playing rather than giving you a whole bunch of examples and you do nothing with them. All right, so let's dive right in. We're starting with E minor pentatonic here. This comes from, uh, you, you gotta know your five boxes of the pentatonic scale, particularly E minor pentatonic for this one. So box three is gonna start on the third note of E minor pentatonic, E, G, A. The box that starts on A goes like this. Five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, four, seven, five, eight, five, seven. Okay, and we're gonna be focused on all of it, but we're gonna start with the first three strings. Um, pretty simple right there. I'm gonna go down, up, down, up, down, just alternate picking. You can make that an exercise by itself. Make sure you're spending about 80% of your time practicing slowly and maybe 20% of your time pushing the speed. Make sure all of your slow reps are really slow and perfect, no mistakes. If you're making any mistakes, number one, you're gonna get frustrated and then you definitely won't make any progress. And number two, you're going to um, just not make any progress because you're not teaching your fingers how to play it cleanly. So when you do the fast speed burst ones, it's okay if you make mistakes there, but you can't make mistakes on the slow ones. Okay. And then we just have right there. Um, I think he's using three and one mostly. I tend to use my pinky when I have that big of a stretch. I don't have super big hands. I have very average size hands. And uh, I find that I just like using my pinky. So um, the next part of this example is going to descend the rest of the way through the box with pull offs. I'm gonna pick that last open E because I find it gives it a little more clarity. Um, if I pull off, yeah, there's too great of a chance of me hitting the other strings going to open. So make that an exercise by itself. When you pull off, make sure that you're not just lifting your finger, that you're actually trying to pluck the string with the finger that's pulling off and not your picking hand. I've noticed Eric Johnson in these examples tends to pick on the way up tends to play legato on the way back. So something to keep in mind. All right, our next example happens at 33 seconds in Eric Johnson's lesson. And we are still in E minor pentatonic and we're in the summer home box as Greg Howe put it to me, which is like if your home box is here, we want everybody knows box one, that's where you're, you're spending about 70% of your time. Well, your summer home, Starting on the fifth B is where you live about 30% of the time. It's your vacation home, your summer home. So I love that you give it that way. You can also think of this box as the root note being on the fifth string. So find E on the fifth string. And that's your box. So we're mostly going to ascend this box. But he skips the sevens on strings um, four and three to make it kind of an arpeggio. And he kind of ramps up the speed as he goes. So it's like doo -doo 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 -doo, kind of like that. So it's, it's not hard, it's not easy to do, but 
Think of string six and five being played slowly. And then you start to build a little speed here. Once you get to the third string, room. Let me see. So we're gonna go uh, starting from that third string down, down. So we're sweeping. And then up. And then down, up, down on the first string. That's a great exercise right there. Now I'm trying too hard. Okay? Just practice doing that um, like everything else a lot of times slowly. I spend a lot of time just doing... By the way, when you do your fast burst, um, if you make a mistake, try not to go back and fix it. Try to just return back to the slow ones. Uh, okay, and then here, we descend the same way as we did in the first example. Um, again, he's using three and one, like that. I'm not that good at it, I use my pinky. And he leads with his first finger here, and then shifts. Uh, and then we just move down to box one. And a little speed here. Hey, by the way, here's what I'm playing through. Um, on the pre-recorded examples, I am running through a Wampler Sovereign Distortion pedal for lots of gain, going into my Friedman Runt 20 direct into my computer. When I'm doing the instructional part today, I'm running through my 75 Fender Twin, which just has the most incredible clean tone. And so that's why I'm not playing with any gain right now because uh, the clean is so much fun to play through. Uh, all right, now moving on to at 49 seconds, he does this cool little uh, sweep arpeggio almost, uh, but it's all with pentatonic notes. And he goes three, two, one with his giant hands. I decided to start using my pinky. We're going nine on the fourth string, seven on the third string, and five on the second string. And these notes are B, uh, D, E, B, D, E. We're just ascending the scale, but instead of, we're going. So you might experiment with improvising with both of those. You need to transition into a different box, this is a great way to do it. Now here's what's really interesting about this is um, he slides from the seventh D into the major seventh D sharp. And I, I'm not sure if that was by accident or not, or if he just wanted a weird sound. And then he ends the same way as uh, he did before. So you'll you'll just have to decide um, if you wanted to keep it strictly pentatonic. You would do that. But he goes kind of a cool uh, out of the ordinary idea there. Okay, so at 53 seconds, then he says, "Let's do F sharp minor pentatonic," and he plays this. Line. So what's happening here is we've got the summer home box of F sharp pentatonic. So just take that E minor summer home box that we did and move it up a whole step. Literally the same thing. So you need to see that shape and then also uh, be seeing the the box above it. This is box five um, of F sharp minor pentatonic. Okay, and he plays this sequence. And I'm just alternate picking. Basically, anytime I'm doing inside picking, I'm doing alternate picking. Anytime I need to do outside picking, I do a sweep instead. It's a little more efficient. Economy picking, right? I would make that an exercise. And then, and we have this little shift. And then he's gonna descend the rest of the way. 
Summer Home box, but he's going to hit a G sharp instead of an A, which is going to be the ninth going to the root. So this is a substitution that Eric Johnson will frequently make. Um, and then we shift down into the uh, previous box below it. And then land on the root. Next, we're going to ascend through the summer home arpeggio shape that Eric Johnson's been doing, which is just... Mostly, it's an F-sharp minor triad. It's the exact same as what we did before in E minor pentatonic. And then after that, he just kind of walks down... Um, going back and forth from box five to box four and then resolving to the root F sharp on the second string seventh fret. Okay, in our final example for today at 102, Eric Johnson demonstrates how to play G minor pentatonic, G sharp minor pentatonic over root E. But instead of doing just a boring old E in the bass again, for context, he gives us the harmonic at the 12th fret. Then, C, G sharp minor pentatonic box one. Starting at the fourth fret, you're gonna slide into six on the fourth string and do a little sweep into the fourth fret of the next string. And then alternate pick the rest of the way. Shift up. Alternate picking all of that. Then we get. This is a little three note motif Eric Johnson likes to do a lot, where he goes low, high, middle, across two different boxes. And then, quickly shift up into the next box. And then we've got this little alternate picking five note exercise. Down, up, down, up, down. And then, resolving there like that. So that's it, that's it for today. Let me know what questions you have. If you want the full PDF of all of this, just email me, eric at fortworthmusicacademy.com. So I hope you guys have a great, if you're seeing this um, as, as I've uploaded, I hope you guys have a great 4th of July weekend. Everybody stay safe. And as my great aunt Matilda always said, a 14 inch radius on a Strat is to die for. Mwah.